Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, 1UZ stepper motors. It applies to a lot of other Toyota steppers, but we're working on 1UZ ones. So I've got early model. This is the one with the, the screws to be removed. Okay, they're, they're easy to rebuild. You put them apart, put a set of bearings in. A few tricks to them, you can write, but uh, pretty basic. I've got one here that's just, just, just the guts of it, so you can uh, see what happens. Right, I've got the Got a test light now. When I connect and disconnect the battery, uh, the, the ignition, you'll notice that the, the the power actually stays on for a few seconds after it turns off, and that allows the stepper to actually reset. So I'm going to look here. Here's here's our unit. We're going to just turn it on. And we'll watch it move. It moves a little bit, ready to, ready to start. So that's the engine ready to start. We're going to turn the ignition off. There you go. And we're actually going to watch it reset. There you go. And then the ignition turns off. Um, really common circuit for the when working with standard computers that uh, people don't wire that correctly so uh, I asked them to do a bit of a test now the test will be to, to check power supply uh, to the middle two wires in the center okay and I asked them to uh, check it with the with the key off and there shouldn't be any power there I then asked them to, to turn the key on and to start the engine now on a standard computer, you have to start the engine for this test to work. Um, I'm running a my test computer today is a, a Link ECU, which is, makes it a bit easier for me. But uh, so you'd, you'd start the engine, and the, the power would stay on. Run the engine for about 10 seconds, then you turn it off, and you you want the power to stay on for a few seconds after you turn the key off. If it doesn't do that, your step motor isn't going to work properly. Your idle speed isn't going to work correctly. Okay, so that that's quite important to note. Right. Over here we've got the later model stepper. No screws. You'll see this one's nice and clean and shiny. Uh, we have pulled that unit apart and we have rebuilt it. Uh, it's got a new set of bearings in it. We've checked the windings. They're all up to standard. So we're just gonna we're gonna run a test on that one just to, to confirm it. And I'm just using this computer today as a, as a test thing. So what I'm yeah, what I'm gonna do is, is put this little bar on there because you can't actually see the unit moving. I'm just going to pop you down while I change plugs. So we're just going to change the plug off this one. We're just going to plug it in. Like so. Snap it all the way home. So that snapped all the way home. With that sitting there, we're just going to, we're going to pair it up. We're going to watch that a little bit move. There we go. That's ready to start. So when we start the engine, It'll actually adjust a little bit. I don't have an engine attached, so it's, but we're just going to turn the key off and we're going to watch it reset all the way. And where we go, it's working lovely. We'll just do that again. So that's the operation of the of the stepper motor. It's important that they work correctly and are wired correctly to, to run properly. And that if you're using an aftermarket computer, that again it is set up correctly to reset. Um, I prefer it with key off. But some will only do it with key on, so you have to wait a few seconds before you start it. So, okay. if you need your steppers replaced, rebuilt, send them to uh, to us. We can sort that out. Um, we'll catch you later. Thank you.